friends welcome to a new video so i'll probably end up recording this in two parts but i honestly couldn't wait to open this package so this package is from pinky elephant and it is my hours journal hours studio journal i'm so excited so i figured i would open it with you and then later on i do plan on doing a sort of um like full review kind of similar to how i did with the take a note because it's the first time i ever lay eyes on this journal in person i've never seen this journal and i don't know i can't really seem to find any specific like full flip throughs of these and i don't know if i'm just not searching right or what it is i think that since it's called the hours journal it's kind of like a little difficult for it to get picked up on search but i figured that if that you create the type of content you want to see right that's why i started this <laughs> that's why i started this uh, channel in the first place i wanted to see media journaling content and i didn't really see any so I decided to create it myself and so since i can't really find what i'm looking for in terms of the flip through i figured i would make it myself so actually let me open this off camera so that i'm not bothering anyone with the crinkling sounds and i will be right back once it is out of this uh packaging oh she's so gorgeous i don't think i ordered anything else because i didn't want anything to get delayed with the pre-order Oh, there's some freebies in here as well. Oh, that's so exciting. I have been wanting to order from this company, from uh, Pinky Elephant, for a really long time. Fun fact, I think that when I first started creating YouTube videos or like started looking for content related to journaling back in 2023, uh, one of the first people I ever came across was Pinky Elephant. And so when I saw that they were selling this journal, I knew that I wanted to get it from them. So let's look at the little freebies here first and foremost. That's so cute. Okay, so, oh, that's so cute. <gasps> oh, I'm obsessed. Is this a sticker? It is a sticker. So you can see that. Oh, so pretty. I love the cat. I love the flowers. That's so pretty. There's the a business card, so pinky elephant. And it was nice because um, it was a little less expensive than other locations that I, oh, coffee pot. Love that. And there's a little note sticker. And then I think this is the Pinky Elephant logo sticker as well. Cute. So cute. Can't wait to use that. Okay, put this over here in my little jar. Um, so yes, the oh, there's a little other one here. My bad. Didn't realize. Oops. There we go. A little coffee grinder for the espresso so oh my goodness i'm so excited one of the reasons i ended actually I'll, I'll let me let me take this out of here and then i will explain that so same thing i showed with the take a note there's a little um information in here it is two page per week so two pages for a week and then um our studio you got your millimeters the size in there so i'll definitely be cutting that up at some point as well and putting that in here um so i was on the fence for quite a little bit on whether i wanted to get the hours journal or if i wanted to get the thinking of you journal and i'm gonna be so honest there was just a couple of things that sold me on the hours journal instead because i was actually leaning towards the thinking of you one of them was that this um this cover which also i love that it comes with its own little cover that's amazing um this cover has a slot for postcards and they come with a few postcards which in and of itself is exciting so i'll open up the postcards first oh my gosh this is i'm so excited <laughs> this is a little vellum envelope with the gift this is our seventh hours journal that book be with you and yeah you just get some more information here on the packaging so i'll show you that for a second this is on vellum pretty sturdy vellum love that actually and then here are the little postcards oh my goodness this is so cute okay so this is the hours of scene coffee me time these are beautiful that stamp this stamp is gorgeous And then this is the other one. Which way is it? This way. This is a photo of the cherry blossoms I took with the vintage half frame film camera during my 2023 trip to Busan. The weather was beautiful and the cherry blossoms were in full bloom. Oh, that's pretty. And then you get mini ones, right? So you got this one. 
coffee with you oops okay sure that's fine um this one which is i think this is the one that i saw in the picture beautiful this one which is similar to the art style of the actual cover i love the little paint swatches if you know me you know i love paint swatches and then here is the last one and so what really sold me on this one is that the, aside from having the postcards so you get like these little slots i don't know if you can see them there's little dots here uh here here and here and you can put your own little postcards in to display so let's see if i can do this on camera it might be that I need to, oh, is it in the actual, Never mind. hold on. Let me take this out of, oh, this is gorgeous. Let me take it out of its clear cover. So you can see that. Okay, so the clear cover has some wording on it. If you can see here, it says the research note. And then it has the Our Studio Research Project. So this is the clear cover. And then the Our Journal itself also comes with this like flap. So it's it doesn't really have a cover on it. It just has this flap. So you could ultimately take this out if you even wanted to, if you didn't want to include it. Um, but this is the back side. Beautiful. Love the illustrations. And as you can see here, I think you can see them a little more clearly. You have these little... Um, slots and so what you can do is you can fit in of course the postcards that they send or your own postcards in this size and so it opens up the realm see for customization so if you don't really like the cover in and of itself you can put your own stuff here and still have everything else for the branding and then they also have the smaller ones be a little gentle with that so if you wanted to use the smaller one for like an instax or something we can do that as well i am not the gentlest of people so bear with me <laughs> i don't want to break it it is pretty sturdy though so you have to be really rough with it to break it And I really like that because I um, I am a patron of a lot of artists that send postcards. And so I'm always thinking of where I can display them and what have you. And so I thought this would be like a perfect way. So you can kind of see that there as well. So you have a space for that too. Let me see if I have any postcards that I can show you. I do. I recently purchased from Little Tiny Egg and they sent a postcard with the order. So like, for example, I could, if I wanted to, fit this in here. This one I think is a little too short. So I think it would have to be like four by six. Whatever the sizing of this is, I'm pretty sure this is a four by six, which this seems to be a little smaller than that. But anyways, you get the gist of it. You could potentially just put them in and then you have your own little customized page within this set. Personally, right now, I'm really into this, so I'm not going to cover it, but I am excited to see the different customizing opportunities because as you all know, I am a customizing fiend. I love to customize everything. So let's put this clear cover back on because it's a like matte it's not really reflective which obsessed because one of my major issues with recording content specifically um, with my journals is that since they have the clear cover it's not really matte and it reflects the overhead light so there it is back on and then there's a little bit of writing right so like here it says this is not just about recording it's a part of life then it says the hours journal is inspired by the japanese elementary school summer homework called free research the idea is to do one small thing each week capturing moments of inspiration during every research by handwriting we turn these little pieces of life into lighthouse of day living oh i love the idea of it being like a lighthouse i love lighthouses and then here it says, the fourth research note Hours Studios presents. 
And then, of course, here's the back. This year's theme of the Hours Journal is gifts. We turned the feeling of receiving gifts and blessings into this year's journal design. On the cover, you can place a postcard, a favorite idol card, or anything you love. It will accompany you the whole 2025. Gifts always touch our hearts, don't they? Which reminds me, actually, of something that I wrote in my... Um, my Hope Nichi, which I believe I talked about in my most recent video. I'll link that up above, but in case you haven't watched that or don't really feel like watching it, I will also mention it here. So I wrote it sometime in September. Here. What makes a gift if not the intention propelled first by love? Happiness exchanged an equal treaty. To love someone is to give them parts of you for safekeeping. So I think I'll probably end up transcribing that and putting that in here since the theme is gifts okay zoomed you in a little bit there so that you can see a little better so as soon as you and it does lay flat which is ex super exciting so let me just open up to a random page yep it lays flat love that okay cool so then let's open up you got these random little flap here which always comes with every journal you get your cover page let me kind of move this a little bit research journal weekly journal or rather research project weekly journal by our studio since 2017 and then you get your monthly overview um and then a cover page as well for the monthly section and these are your monthly pages which i really do like the formatting of it it's very simple this actually reminds me of a design that i made for myself back in 2021 in my when I was doing digital media journaling and digital memory keeping, I did a format that was kind of similar, except that it was moved to this side and I had the empty space on this side. So I really like, I think these seem to be like exact squares, which is also my preference when it comes to monthly spreads. I think I prefer the square over the rectangle. And I like the fonts as well. That's something that's always been really nice to me. The fonts that this uses. Let me see here. Okay. So the first two weeks don't take up the whole space, but March does. Oh, because it's a 31. Okay, that's why. And so it has the rest of the week. Very cool. It looks so interesting to have so much covered. And it's because you have the first two days. <laughs> that's interesting. I love the sizing of it. And I like the little tassels on the sides. They're super cute. It looks like they're all different kinds of tassels, which I really like. This is June, which is my birthday month. Like that tassel, good. I like the paper too. I wonder, I think it is fountain pen friendly. I'll do some testing in the back because I'm not 100% sure if it is. And I know that that's important for a lot of you. It is becoming increasingly important to me as well because I have been having a lot of fun in my with my fountain pens, thanks to all of the inks that Sosan sent me. Yeah, I really like all of the tassels. Do they repeat at all? Let's see, let me just look again. I don't think they do, but there was another blue one, so I'm curious. So this blue one, for example, okay, yeah, it's different. They don't repeat. It's every, every month is different. Cool. Ooh, I love that. Okay. So it starts in January. Let's see. Does it end in December? Oh, that's, that's so satisfying. <laughs> I know that for like planning, some people really do enjoy having, um, why is there a random dog in my backyard? Hold on a second, please. Yep. Random dog. Um, so as I was saying, I know that a lot of people do prefer having, for example, the couple of months before or the couple of months after the year starts for planning purposes. But for me, since I'm not going to be using this for planning, and honestly, even for me personally, planning, I don't really find a use for it either. Um, I don't like it when it has months before and after because I want to be in the new journal that that year represents, for example. So the fact that this doesn't have is really, really nice. I will say that I also see the benefit of having one or two so like one before and one after. Well, really after I don't necessarily need, but definitely one before to kind of jump into the journal. I didn't realize that that was a thing until last year when I was slowly going to start using the paper test B6, but I had never used that journal before. And so I was nervous. I ended up using the back pages and the notes to kind of like jump into the journal and make space for myself and kind of get acquainted with it. I wonder if people who aren't journaling people think that that's a crazy concept, like needing to 
break in a journal, but <laughs> I know that you guys will understand. Um, so I get the need to have like an additional month or so just in a couple of extra pages from the previous year to kind of jump in and get a feel for the journal. I get it in that respect. So everything has its pros and, and its cons, but I do really like the fact that it is just the one year. Um, and then the next page is this section here that says plans for 2025 and you get like some lines that are dotted. So they're very, very faint. And I kind of like that maybe for like intent intentions and such. One of the things that I had, I have a few different ideas for how to use this. And I'll talk about that towards the end of the video. I kind of wanted to do the flip and initial reactions first, and then we'll get into like what my plans are for the journal a little later. So then now we go into the weekly section, which is again, it's a week for two pages. So each spread is a week. And something that's really cool is that there's like a theme here. I think here it just says smile and happiness. So I'm not sure if it starts again. I've never really seen them before in person. So I've not looked through it before, but you get a monthly view you get a little icon and I believe there's like a prompt and such every week that you can write about. Each day has this little section to write and then an a section where you can put images or what have you. Like there's a little blank space and then there's the writing. You also get the day um, up below the month, the day of the week as well here in the corner. And then you also get the phase of the moon, which is really nice. And you get that for the whole week. And then I believe the colors change. Oh, that's so cool. I love that so much. So the colors change here in the corners, the little swatches. Obsessed with that little detail. Oh, so cool. <laughs> I love that, I love paint swatches. And then you do get the little sections for the month as well. Very cool. And I want to say, yep, this is the week number. So here you get, this is the first week of the year, second week of the year, third week, so on and so forth. And you can see that it has different icons here. So the first one was smile and happiness, I believe. Smile and happiness. This one is best of luck. And then this one is cheer up. And now I'm going to go ahead and flip through every single uh, week but I'm not going to, I'm going to kind of speed it up a little bit and I'm not going to talk through it because if not, we'll be here for a really long time. But I kind of just wanted to do a full flip of every single page in case that's something that you are interested in. If not, you can go ahead and skip. I'll put a timestamp so that it's easy for you to do that. So let's go for it. Okay, so before I switch over into the next set of pages, something that's really cool that I noticed as I was flipping through is that the colors over here on the side represent the colors that were used in the image. Um, so every single one is kind of like a little mini color palette of the colors that were used in the little icon, which to me is like one of the most beautiful and exciting things ever because one of my favorite things to do is actually creating little color palettes based on the images. So that feels so fun. And then something else that I didn't mention is that over here on the side, you get the month um, also in script. And if it's a double month, then you'll get that abbreviated. So June, July. I didn't also notice, let's see. So 612 is my birthday, which is this one, the good old days. Cool. Birthday's on Thursday next year. <laughs> okay, so then after your weekly pages, you go into the free notes section. So 
how is your 2025 so you start with the plan for 2025 your intentions for the month or for the year rather plans for 2025 and then once you finish your weekly section you get how is your 2025 and the same format with like writing then you get your free notes section which i believe has different sections to it one of the reasons i was heavily i guess against getting the hours journal was because i really wasn't sure what to do with these specific pages ultimately i decided that i could always just like ignore them i don't necessarily need recipes for example so i can just like collage on top of this or what have you so you get some recipe pages the pages are not numbered so that's one of the things that i will probably end up doing just for indexing purposes i really like numbering my pages that's something that i do every single time um so you get recipe pages here and i believe there's a section for that let's see how many pages that entails so that is one two three four five six seven eight so you get eight recipe pages and then you get into your card folders section you get number of the card which you can put up here you get the date and another little section a section to put whatever the information is that you want to do images or what have you with and then location and you get four to a spread two for each page and then you get one two three four five six seven eight so you get eight pages of those as well and then you get these free note pages which are gridded you get one two three four four of those then you get anything form um i'm guessing this is like date and time use this form for anything location and then a couple of lines here i would never seen this spread specifically i don't think you get one two three four four of those and then this is the gift notes section which is specifically for i think this specific journal this is like since it's gifts and then you get from to content and the date one two three four five six seven eight so you get eight pages of those and then you get these little color notes which i think is one of my favorite spreads as well think i probably won't use them for color notes but i'll use them for something else i really like the little square layouts and then you get one two three four five six seven eight nine to a page and you get one two three four four pages of those and then you get your contact page which is your name phone email line id and address this journal belongs to and what have you you get your little end page and the back which has the little mini built-in ruler line weights color and then the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog so that is the journal in and of itself that is really exciting yeah there's like certain pay like this one i can kind of figure out what i would want to do perhaps the gift section is not something i really know how i would use i don't really know how i would use the anything form the cards this one um the card folders is also pretty straightforward and then the recipes is something that i would have to figure out as well so i'm gonna call it for this section of the video and i will be back later today and talk a bit about what my plan is for this journal or what my plans are because it's not concrete yet <laughs> so i'll kind of discuss a little bit of that catch you in the next clip hey friends so it's the next day i am currently housing i tried putting the hours journal in the kusano masamune dunaida hobonichi cover and i like how it looks a lot i think i like it more than the take a note so that's probably gonna end up being what lives in here so i kind of wanted to do some pen tests and then talk you talk to you about what i potentially we'll be using this journal for. So first let's do the pen tests and I'm going to try out the fountain pens as well as some Tombos. So I am gonna use this back page. I don't normally write down my contact info, but I guess I will. So I got the, the Pilot brush pen. I don't remember. Um, the name of this I'm totally I'm totally blanking right now, but it's um it's a pretty common brush pen Anyways, I have the brush pen here. That's very inky. I'll try that. I'll try an array of my fountain pens I will try the uh, Midori not Midori the, the Muji 0.38 Millimeter pen as well because that's something that I use often and I'll use some of my Tombos 
I will use the Sarasas and I will also use the Pentel Touch, which I use quite often as well. Let's get my inky one because I have two versions of that black one. Yep, this one. Let's do the brown one as well. Did I already get the Sarasa? I have not gotten the Sarasa. Where is the black Sarasa? It's in here somewhere, I think. And then I've lost, haha, here it is. I also have the Fudenosuke hard tip. So we'll try that combination of ones. And I think the best page is gonna be this back page because I don't wanna really mess with any others. I could potentially use this front one as well, but I usually glue those down. And yeah, I don't wanna use any of these. Yep, let's use this back page. Okay, so. First off is the Fudun Tombow Fudunosuke. So no bleeding so far, which is really nice. We'll look at the ghosting in a second. So those are the fountain pens. This is the Muji. I'll get any Sarasa because I don't know where my black one is. So those are the pens. Now let's do the Tombos. There's no bleeding with any of these pens then. I'm pretty comfortable with that. Because I don't have any other pen that's worse than this. Well, I guess something else that I could do is the watercolor. I could see how watercolor reacts on this. Because that's also something I often do. So there's that, we'll wait for that to dry. Okay, so I just added my name, my email, and my PO box, and I this is already pretty dry. Um, there is a little bit, honestly, I think it's fine. Don't think it's anything crazy. That's kind of like what it looks like from this side. You can see there's no, there's no bleeding whatsoever. And then if you turn the page over, there is some ghosting, but honestly, it is minimal, not that much. And even with the bit of warping that you get with the watercolor, it's also not too much. I will say, I don't think this can handle as much water as maybe the Tomoe River paper can, but it handled it pretty well. I'm trying to see if this is peeling but I don't think so I don't think it's peeling at all I just think that's the granulation of the color oh sorry out of frame this little section here it almost looked like it was peeling the page but no I just think it's the granulation of the color so overall success I'm confident to use pretty much any 
any pen, any medium in here. So I'm excited about that. Um, and then I guess we can talk about what I'm gonna use it for. So one of the things I was possibly thinking of using it for uh, was for a day daily picture. So kind of having like one picture per day and then writing down here kind of like a little tidbit. So as a memory keeper of sorts, something else that I possibly thought of using it for was a companion to my media journal. So I'm gonna be media journaling in a few different ways next year. Um, I'm gonna have my log in that take note by week uh, insert, which I talk about in the take a note video. I'll link up above in case you wanna watch that. Um, and then I'm also gonna be including media reactions in my daily log, I think. That's the current thought process. Um, so I was thinking that maybe this could be like the visual component of the media journal, which I currently do in my TN. I've showed here before, but in case you are not sure what I'm talking about, I do it in both my TN insert and then also here in the back, I've kind of done it here as well. And I flipped through these pages in a previous video but kind of like the visual components, the fan art and all that stuff, I think that that's something that I could do in here potentially as well. Something else that I considered doing was having this be kind of like similar to what Courtney Diaz does from Little Raven Inc. She has, she has what's called a gratitude journal. And so I was thinking maybe like Little Joys can be in here, but more of like the visual medium. I think that I really do want this to be more of a visual journal than a writing journal. For me specifically, I always have to think about... Um, both things because I am very into writing but then I'm also very into like the visual aspects of things and sometimes they work together and sometimes they don't and so thinking about and what I mean by like sometimes they work together and sometimes they don't is that I don't always get to print the images at the time of journaling and so I don't necessarily want to stop myself from completing a spread because I'm waiting on another aspect of it and so some journals tend to be more image heavy than others. Some journals end up being more writing heavy than others. And so kind of trying to decipher whether I want this one to be a more writing heavy or a more image based journal. And just because of all of the visual elements that we've already looked at, I think that I probably want it to be a visual heavy, heavy journal. Um, if it is, if it does end up meeting, being a media journal, then I know for sure that it's gonna obviously be both <laughs> because we talked about, I talked about in that previous video, how for me, the media journaling, one of the issues that I was having was with too much like visual medium. Do I have my TN here? Yeah, just kind of talk this really quickly. One of the issues I was having was that I was making the spreads very visual, but not having any context with writing. And so I kind of corrected that in recent spreads where I'm adding more writing to it and giving more context to some of the images. So that's something that I could possibly do in here. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Another thing that I thought of was making it a combination, just kind of like being like an archive of sorts. So I am gonna be using multiple journals because just that's just the way that I am. And so maybe having this be like a big book um, archive. So maybe I can do media journaling spreads in the weekly one and then have like a picture per day of like personal, like real life stuff in the monthlies. I really like that idea. I've done that before in other journals. So those are the things that I'm kind of thinking about doing with this journal. If there are any other things that you think of that could be done in this type of format, let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. If you were to use this journal, what would you use it for? Uh, I'm really, really curious. I've seen a lot of people decorate this in different ways and it's just, it's so nice. I do really enjoy this kind of layout. So I'm excited to see how it kind of translates. I've never worked in a layout like this before. And it's really interesting because uh, both of the journals that I have, I think, yeah, I think I just have two journals. Have I only purchased two? I think so. <laughs> I've only done two unboxings, right? So the media, the, not the media, the take a note and this one are unconventional in terms of like the weekly spreads. And I'm really interested in seeing how I work through those. So yeah, that's that's all I got for you. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. If there's anything that you want to see more um, specifically, let me know as well. I could always do a little a little short and and post that and link you to it. But yeah, that's, that's all for, for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And yeah, I will catch you in the next one. Bye.